hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how we can add horizontal scrolling in the end design table also we will see how we can fix some of the columns toward the left and some of the columns toward the right also we will see how we can add the vertical scrollings and at the last we will see how we can use the end design table so that when we change the pagination it scrolls to the top automatically so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the table component from end design and start using it so it will be table and we will be using its columns and the uh, data source props so we will be defining these variables soon so columns and data source so data source and let's define these variables so const columns is equal to we can say the empty array so because we need to show a lot of columns so we can create them in a loop so let's define a for loop and we can say uh, let's define a, a variable that we can say uh, the the number of columns so number of columns is equal to maybe initially we can define the five columns so here we can say number of columns and here uh, we can push into the the columns list so we can push in each column can uh, is an object which contains the the title so we can say let's make it dynamic as well so we can say column and with a space we can say index plus one so it will be call call one call two call three and so on right and we can define its data index as well so we can say call maybe underscore and we can say index plus one uh, it should be in the pectic okay so similarly we can define uh, the data source as well so it could be the data source is equal to an empty array and we can define the the number of rows as well so suppose we want to show five rows and here again we can uh, create them in a loop so we can say index from 0 to the number of rows and here we can so because uh, each row will be containing uh, the data for all of these columns so it will be a loop inside a loop so on the outer loop we are looping for the number of rows and the inner loop we will be looping for the again for the number of columns so we can change this index to maybe you can say the call index and plus plus and here we can define uh, the maybe we can say the row data is equal to empty object and here we can uh, define that we can say the row data and inside that we need to uh, define the uh, the value for this particular uh, data index so we can copy it from here and put it there and it will be column index plus one and we can name that uh, like we can say the row maybe the row index that is index plus one the upper index and then we can say the column and then the column index so it is call index plus one right so each cell will be uh, saying that uh, the row number and the column number right and after this loop we can uh, push that into the data source dot push the row data so the row data will be containing the data against each row uh, i mean the single row and the data source will be containing uh, the data for all of the rows so let's save it here you go so we have defined the the five columns column one two three four five that that was going here and here we have defined the uh, the rows the five rows and inside the uh, each row we defined that row data whose value is the r1 
uh, C1 and so on and so forth. So, R1, C1, R1, C2 and, and the last R5, C5, right. Right now, it is showing uh, the 5 columns. So, if we increase the number of columns to maybe we can say 20 columns. So, how it will look like? So, it will render all of the columns. So, what is it is doing is it is uh, scrolling horizontally uh, uh, on the window level. So, suppose we want uh, to be scrollable within the content of the table. So, suppose we add a style to the table and we can say it is uh, max width is maybe uh, 500 pixels. If I save it. Uh, you see it is showing the from column 1 to the column 20, but it is right now scrolling all over the way uh, on, th on the window level or on the document level. To scroll within the width of the uh, table, uh, we can use the scroll prop of the table and inside that we can say uh, the scroll in the x axis is true. So, now it will what it will be doing is it will, will be scrolling uh, within the uh, width we have defined for the table, right. So, it is showing from column 1 to uh, the column 20, right. And it's, suppose in some cases we need to uh, make some of the columns fixed. Suppose on the left side we are showing suppose the row ID or something. So, we need to fix those and on maybe on the right side we need we are showing the actions like the edit the row or the delete row and, th and things like that. So, maybe we need to show that always instead of hiding it. So, for that uh, we can go back to where we are defining the columns and here we can uh, say that uh, whether it is fixed to the left side or to the right side. So, suppose we want to fix the, the column 1 and column 2. Here we can say if the index is less than 2. So, it will be the, the index 0 and 1. So, first two columns and if it, it is that so, it will be fixed to the left and otherwise we can again say if its index is, is equal to the number of columns minus 1 the last index then it is uh, fixed to the right uh, otherwise we can say it null. So, do, do not fix it it will be question mark here right. So, what we are doing here is we are saying the fixed value to be uh, to be left it is for the first two columns otherwise what we are saying that it, it will be fixed to the right if it is the last index otherwise it is null right. So, now if I save it as you go. So, now I am scrolling it, but uh, the first two columns are fixed and also the, uh, the last column is also fixed right. So, we are scrolling inside that right. Okay, so, this is how uh, we add the uh, scrolling inside the table uh, the horizontal scrolling we can do the scrolling on the uh, vertical scrolling or in the y axis as well. So, suppose we want we are showing instead of the 5 rows if we are showing suppose uh, maybe 20 rows and if I save it. So, right now it is scrolling uh, over the window or the over the document level. So, here we can uh, say that in the y axis scroll within uh, suppose few pixels maybe we can say 300 pixels. So, we are saying that scroll inside uh, these much of the 300 pixels if we increase it to maybe 400 it will increase the height right. So, it is scrolling within this content and we can of course, navigate between uh, different pages as well right. So, it is navigating to so, here you see uh, when I am on the bottom it is navigating to the top by default scroll to the first row uh, on change. So, if I make it false it would not be uh, going to the first row here you go it is again on the 16 and if I make it to true and now I change it it goes to the first row right. So, that is it on exploring the scrolling horizontally or the vertically for the end design table, but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel. 
See you in the next video. Thank you.